Hey guys, welcome back. Chuck House of Mopar. Hope you all had a good fourth. I think when this comes out, it's going to be two weeks before, but whatever. Um, back to the Savoy. Telma. Telma. You know, I mean, we looked at this before. The rockers are junk up here. The floor pans in the front aren't the greatest, but I, don't I will tell you what. She's pretty freaking solid in a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're doing seals. Uh, I think these are wheel seals. I think these, I got the numbers here. What are these? These are the rears. That's the pinion seal on the rear diff. Thought it'd be a good idea, number one, to grease, grease the uh, bearings in there. You know it is. It would be a pretty good idea to grease the, put new seals on here. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. And I realized something. I did the brakes. They're bled. They don't leak. I was going to take that whole assembly off. And that means I get to break the brake, break the brake lines again. Oh well. Whatever. I got a lot of dot three. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. I knew that before, but um, I forgot. I mean, it took me a month to do the brake lines all in with everything, you know, stuff. So I knew I uh, didn't want to do that, but whatever. whatever. Let's look underneath. We have got to take an axle off. I told you guys, ball and trunnion rear and up front. I don't know if you can see, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, look how greasy. So, let me go get, I think those are 916 see if they want to come loose. I got some croil on them. The best of the best, that's crap. I don't use it much. My son gave me a can. It is, what is it, 26 bucks a can was before everything. All right, let me get you set up and we'll see if these break loose. All right, here's the rear one. Ah. Uh, these will be tight. I don't know if we'll need heat or not. I'm hoping not. Oh hell. Goodness. <laughs> they're lo that one's loose. Oh, they're all loose. What the hell? Yeah, they're loose. Well, let me not get ahead of myself. Two of them are loose. Oh my. Man, they didn't tighten these up much. I don't know the torque. They're fine thread. Wow. Huh. How about that? She's out. This is the rear. This one's got a spring. Of course, the Savoy or uh, Louise has got a uh, regular U joint in the back. Um, there's the balls and the trunnion. This thing is well lubed. I don't know what that smells like, guys. It actually it smells different. And can you see how they? Yeah. So there's yeah. These are a pain. There's a cap. You see the cap on the end of the ball on the bottom side that comes out. Yeah, it, it can be a real giant pain in the butt. Uh, they make kits for these. I don't know. It wouldn't hurt to do one. I don't know why that one back there doesn't have this. I'm going to have to look at the service manual. See, there's a clip. They clip around all the way around. So... That's what I was expecting. Anyway, this actually had bolts, nuts and bolts, which made it easier. Because um, when I was, yeah, pushing it straight. All right, uh, let's continue. All right, back under, I got my pan out. Remember, you can see those bearings? Here's what the cap on the back is supposed to look like. 
This one's still got the old Mopar logo on there. The new one was about to come out for the forward look. Imagine this ran for, then you go stamping these. Two of the teeth are missing. I smell worse, it smells like shoe polish. All right, I'm gonna let you guys ride along and watch this for a, little, a minute. There we go. Okay, mostly done. I'm gonna do the other side and get back up on the top. So, yeah, like I said, I forgot that I was gonna do this. So I need to disconnect my brake lines, which is what it is. And uh, they'll need to be replayed. God, there's that. It's in gear. All right, let me go get the other side. And uh, I guess this is just going to drip forever. That sort of sucks. All right, lads, <clears throat> plans have changed. It takes a slide hammer to pull this out. I was all set up. I had everything I needed. Um... The backing plate didn't want to come off at first because I knew this was a bolt back there. Evidently, these are swedged in. Evidently, it came off on somebody. Um, I can change the seals there. All I really wanted to do, I did not want to pull that diff, that heavy SOB. But do you see it running there? They actually put a plug in the drain plug in these. Okay. Um, I didn't want to pull the X particularly because um, I don't know what I'm going to run into. If this thing... These are the races for the bearings, and I don't want to be changing bearings. I don't know if it's going to ruin the, everything or not, so we're not. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I don't think the diff is leaking. The pinion seal definitely was leaking. That oil is like 100,000 miles used oil. So anyway, the plug, all right, it's some kind of uh, factory tool required. There was another one somewhere else, weird. It's not three eighths, it's not a quarter, so I just got some round stock and uh, made it work. Anyway, all right, so the diff oil is draining and we'll go from there. All right, wheel cylinder, wheel something time. Wheel seal. Um, right, let's get this schmutz out of here. Grab this guy. For a few whams. Alright. Yuck. Oil on here, maybe, huh? If you guys do it or not, I just did. Two inch pipe. I have sealed drivers, but I didn't use one this time. She's in. She's in. Earl here. Because why not? All right, let's go to the other. Put her back on. 
And she goes, uh, these things have got these shims in here. I guess that's what they used in the day instead of having the adjusters on the other side. Okay, let's see. Upside down. And she goes, let's put some oil on that. Because why not? Easy peasy. All right, now for the uh, front. This fancy little guy. <clears throat> Never used it, but it's gotta help, gotta go faster. <clears throat> I'm sure. How about if I hit the, what? Um, they're dry. Yeah, they're dry. Gooey, gooey. All right, let me get them cleaned up, put them back in. All right, ran through the power washer, power washer, parts washer, blown dry, ready for this thing. <clears throat> you just drop it in there, cone down. And uh, so yeah, I bought this, cause this is, this does, <sighs> They can go faster. You definitely want your grease warm. That's for damn sure. See it's starting to come up through. Yeah. Yeah. Need more grease in there. All right. Yeah, that's good. Good for starters. That's what you get. Squished it through. Now I'll go ahead and Keep on keeping on. Little's good, more's better, no? All right, this time I got the seal driver. Done. Done and done. Now, clean up the mess. Okay, here we are. There we are. We'll see here what we get. That ain't working. Yep, 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 yep. This sucks. Come on. How the hell that worked? Yeah, they shouldn't be on there that tight. Well, kiss my butt. Ah, come on now. Oof, duh. Yuck. I'll go clean that, clean this, and get back to you. Cleaned up, cleaned up. It almost looks like there's a speedy sleeve on here. She's got a, some grooving, but um, I'm afraid it's going to have to live. Anyway, okay, there's the seat, pinion seal, right? All right, here's the one that's listed for it. Uh, yeah, pretty small. Everybody, crap, everybody shows that as the one. It's got to go from sea to shining sea. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> got this thing. See what it looks like. See what I can find. Hopefully something. This is, uh, I don't know if this is leather in here. It's wet. That's good. There was damn little fluid in this thing. It all went out the back. All right. Several days later. Well, here's the pinion seal. The new one. SKF 18880. Here's the old one. Yeah, that didn't cooperate. That's a big seal. This one's got the rubber lip, as you can see. This one had, it's more substantial. And it had a fiber deal in there. Uh, I think these were available. But I got online and did that. So, here's the drive shaft. Shiny and new, right? No, I didn't bend it. Um... 
like an idiot, I went ahead because I love trouble. I went ahead and ordered a boot kit for this. There it is. Came with two. I changed one because I ripped one. I got about three hours in getting this boot in. This was awful. Uh, because, and I've done it twice on the satellite, but these boots are just a touch different. It's just, I, I, so you got to fish the boot through the, the small end, get it around. You get a clamp on here and pull it out. Easy peasy, right? It wasn't cooperating. So, uh, yeah, there's a ball and trunnion. All greasy. I did, I took the cap off of that one. It's it's so greasy in there. I should have never bothered, but I can't help myself sometimes. I made a gasket for the top. Now, the bad thing is this thing's missing one, two, three, four of their clips, which kind of sucks. And then the spring sits here. Didn't have this on the satellite. Uh, so I'll put that in first and then do this. I'm probably just going to go ahead and get the seal in and uh, get back to you guys when I'm bolting up the back end here. You can watch me struggle with that. All right, all right, all freaking right. Oh, where's my, where's everything? All right, chill. All right, how many times did I say that? I'm gonna say it more. There's gonna be some grunting and noise making from other parts of me, maybe. So, on a hunch, I went downstairs to the attic, or downstairs to the attic, uh, and I had one of the caps left from Louise, okay? All right, it's got four usable ones versus basically two on the same side. Trouble is, you know, I got this spring, huh? Well, the one I need's got a, it's got a seat in it for the spring. Where are you? Yeah, can't use it. That sucks. So now I'm gonna grunt and spark, maybe. I don't know, I didn't say that out loud. That wasn't me. And try to get this in with you guys watching. Nose hair's exposed, I think. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, hi. All right, there we go. Hate this, I already hate it. So far, so good. I can press the whole thing, get it in there. Ow, it hurts my fingers. Ow, hell. God damn it. This sucks. This so sucks. I hate this already. I'm thinking. I have a plan. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. I've got a couple zip ties. Uh, wow. Try to zip tie maybe a side. I think that I don't know. We'll see. Show sure I thought of this before I put the other end in. Too stubborn to unhook it though and take it out and do it up stair up top side. Can't help it. Oh hell! I forgot to put the spring in. <clears throat> Why you guys not tell me, huh? Thelma, you're giving me the business, Thelma. I'm just gonna show you guys this when it's in. She's in. Actually, uh, after I, you guys left me for a minute, it actually worked pretty good using the zip ties. I'm gonna pump some fluid into the trans and the diff in a minute, so. So let me introduce you to my latest device for saving labor. I've got the same company's deal for uh, pumping the bleeding brakes. And what I've always used was this little guy, which works pretty well the first couple times, but it's taken me a half hour, 40 minutes to fill a differential or a trans. I'm not joking. You're doing about three tablespoons at a time. Of this thick crap this thing you pump up and let her go so let's go under there and uh, fill the diff in the trans all right I think this little gem costs all 80 bucks you guys it is money 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 in the bank why is this twisting 
I don't know. Whatever. I've used it once. Yeah. So you'd be underneath here where you can't move anyway. Pumping. And your shoulders hurt. It's hot. You're pissed off. It's quite awesome. So we just put her on there and let her go. Yeah. Make a phone call. You can have a favorite malt beverage. You just wait. I should have done this a long time ago. All right, just for fun, I thought I'd let you guys see how much fluids in this uh, transmission. I'm not betting there's a lot. I didn't change the seal, rear seal on this. That needs to get changed. I'll just fill it up. Well, it's, oh hell. Oh, is there a lot? It's pretty clean. That rear end was black. Huh. Well, okay. I'm impressed. I didn't touch the rear though. All right, I'll get this filled up. All right, let's call it an end of this thing. Um, oh, got plugged in. Uh, figured if I'm doing the greasy stuff, I might as well change the oil. This thing takes six quarts with the filter. And they recommend 30 weight in the summertime and 10 weight in the wintertime. So there you go. Um, I've got some zinc additive. I'm using a Rotella for the uh, flat tap at lifters. And uh, I guess I'll put some of this in. I'm sure that Rotella's got enough. Uh, zinc lubricates your camshaft lifters. Here's this to figure out how that goes in probably just like that with the pull tab you got a ring and uh, we'll go from there so let me get set up under there and we'll uh, dump some oil here we is that's an inch and an eighth nut on the uh, drain pan and up here is the canister so uh, I think you guys are in a good spot to see this uh, yeah Oh, I've had this the bottom of the pan's pretty hammered. Not rusting through. That's good. This will probably ruin it here. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, well, that came off easy enough. Oh, holy smokes! It stinks. I'm gonna fill up my thing before it drains. Goodness, no water in it. That's plus, huh? Yep, no water. That's awesome. No chunkage. Some runny oil. All right, good enough for you know what. All right, you can see the oil canister looks like. Let me see what kind of freaking mess this is going to make. All right, you. Let's go. Wait a minute. You're going the wrong way. Here's a canister. I'm going to take that to the parts washer. Uh, there's a spring in there. You guys see down in there? Markably you know, oily. Really oily. I wonder why that is. Yeah, just kidding. Um, yeah. I'll clean her up. And, uh, here's this. Got a gasket. And, uh, let me clean her. Meet you under, underneath again. Well, revolting developments. You see any differences here? Sure you do. Um, holes are too small. I thought, well, okay. I can still shove it through there, except, see in there? Yeah. This, this side's not just fiber. It's metal. That sucks. Unless I have to figure something out. Maybe you push it past and it just sits. I'll explore this more, but uh, maybe it just sits at the end of the tube there. Maybe, uh, let's see, 
Well, you know that, well, that hole's just bigger. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it will work. Maybe it'll work. I'll tell you in a minute. After I ruin a perfectly good filter. No, I check some more. This thing. There's a spring down there. Dang it. Yep. Crap. Both holes got to be the same. Oh well. All right, guys. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to. There's a Chrysler part number on there. I'm going to check that out and see if I can't find one of these things somewhere. Anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around while we're working on this elegant old lady. And uh, that's all I got for now. I'll uh, catch you on the next one.